Welcome to the Lake Superior Railroad Museum at the St. Louis County Depot here in downtown Duluth. We're sitting in the cab of the number 227 Malay Steam Locomotive, this massive piece of machinery bought by the Duluth Masabi and Iron Range Railway during World War II years to haul long trains of iron ore from the mines in northeastern Minnesota to the docks in two harbors in Duluth and eventually to the war in Europe and Pacific. It's a Malay, which is kind of true, but Malay is kind of a generic term like Kleenex. All tissue is tissue, but they call it Kleenex. The same thing with articulated locomotives. It's an articulated Malay locomotive because it was invented by Mr. Malay. However, this particular model is called a Yellowstone. Who was Mr. Malay? He was Antonio Molay. He was a Swiss inventor and engineer, and in 1874 designed this first articulated engine, which means one long boiler and two steam engines and wheel sets. And the first one pivots so it can go around a curve. That was his great idea. And because of that, all articulated engines are called Malays, but several, like the Big Boy, or in this case the Yellowstone, have specific names for them. He made that first one for a French railway, and everyone thinks he's French because of Antonio Malay, but he was actually Swiss. The railroad he built it for was the Argonne Belay and Baris Railway back in 1874. And this particular model, wow, what a behemoth this thing is. 556 tons. It stretches 126 feet long. Imagine what it would be if you had to move something like this. Hey, guess what? We did. You didn't think we moved this one, did you? Well, the real thing hasn't moved since it was put in the museum back in the 1970s. Oh no, this isn't gonna go anywhere, but here's the Malley that we did move, this model of the Yellowstone. The real one is number 227. This one is number 225. And it took 28 years of a man's life to build this. That man was Ralph Andrus. Ralph Andrus was born in Mora, Minnesota in 1928. During World War II, he served our nation overseas in the Pacific, where he was an airplane mechanic. And he fixed the P-38 Lightning, which was a fighter bomber that was flown by Ira Bong, the Ace of Aces, from Superior, Wisconsin. After World War II, and this is kind of interesting because just like Josh, Ralph went to television school and graduated and got a job at WCCO-TV. Sound familiar, Josh? After uh, some time in television, he decided that he really wanted to get back to being a airplane mechanic. So he came up to Duluth, worked for the 148th, and retired from there, fixing all sorts of jet planes by then. In his spare time, he built models like this. You can see the particular detail that went into it. It's 17 feet long, weighs 2,800 pounds, and it's an exact replica of the Malley locomotive with just a different number. And I know what you're asking yourself. Does it run? Well, as a matter of fact, it is complete. It has a boiler. And just like the Mali itself, it has two articulated engines underneath. Here's the back engine with its driver's set of wheels, and here's the front engine with the driver's set of wheels, and this one's articulated so it turns so it can go around a smaller radius on a curve. But look at the detail that he built into this. Inside the boiler, tubes, just like a real steam engine. And on propane, it can make steam and it moves. Now, did that ever happen? No. The Ralph did run it a few times though with compressed air, so we know that it really works. And you could put a fire to it to see if it would make steam and move under its own power. Ralph was a great guy, and upon his leaving, he donated it to the Lake Superior Railroad Museum, where it'll be on display in a much better viewing area than we had it before. Back in the day, this thing was in a trailer, low to the ground. You had to bend over to look at it. But now look, it's right at eye level. And how we got it there was quite a story. First of all, it had to come out of its old container, and then we put it on another wagon, actually a pontoon boat trailer, brought it back here, and then moved it onto this new display built by our curator emeritus, Tom Gannon. It took a whole day. Tom, Dean, and Eddie worked very, very hard, along with our assistant curator and archivist, Corey Hackbarth, who meticulously cleaned something that probably hadn't been cleaned for 30 years. So not only do you see it in all its glory, there will be a plastic cover over this, but we thought we would do this today so you could see up close in detail exactly Ralph's incredible attention to building this model of the Malley locomotive. He also built some other models. He built a P-38, 
which is on display at the Bong Museum over in Superior, because that was the plane he worked on during World War II. He also built a model of the famous Duluth Aerial Lift Bridge and the Eiffel Tower, because both of those were built by the same man in design. We're very lucky to have this at the museum because now you can see up close just the attention to detail and you can learn a little bit more about this incredible piece of machinery behind me. Why don't you come and visit us? I'll tell you what we'll do though. We have a link to the video that we did on the Mali back uh, a year ago and you can watch that right after you're done watching this and then come and see us at the Lake Superior Railroad Museum open seven days a week at the St. Louis County Depot in downtown Duluth. We'll be back.